Hello, so I want to briefly talk about fifth species counterpoint. Um, fifth species is mixed species, so it basically mixes first, second, third and fourth species uh, in that there are some measures with, let's say, fourth species that have a suspension figure. Um, here, this is being expanded upon suspension figure. Uh, third species, four against one, second species, two against one, and of course first species, um, usually in the very last measure. So um, it would be good uh, for uh, students to look at several examples before attempting to write one on their own. But this most closely resembles uh, real music. So if, if we analyze this, of course, we still uh, measure the, the uh, distance between the notes from the lower voice to the upper voice uh, in terms of interval. So we uh, start on an octave here. Then the cantus firmus moves up, which means this becomes a seventh. Please remember that this is a suspension that resolves down by step. Suspensions uh, fall on first beats of a measure. That means on strong beats of a measure. So in species counterpoint, always on the first beat of a measure. Uh, so the seventh resolves down by step uh, to a consonant. In this case, uh, the interval of a sixth. Um, then in this case goes to a fifth by um, uh, oblique motion. We always have to consider the type of motion when the, uh, the in a perfect interval is being approached. Um, anyways, then both voices move, the upper voice moves down, the uh, cantus fomus moves up to a third octave displacement, tenth. Um, then the cantus firmus leaps up, which creates a seventh, um, which is being resolved, uh, the suspension is being resolved to the third beat of the measure. Uh, please note that uh, this uh, note is inserted here just to provide some more uh, um, musical variety, basically. Um, but uh, we consider this suspension, this uh, seventh being resolved, eventually going to D, even uh, if uh, we insert a node in between, which is an uh, interval of a third uh, to the cantus firmus. Anyways, um, we have another seventh here, uh, and the seventh is being resolved down uh, by step to the third beat of the measure again. But on the second beat, um, there is this neighbor note inserted coming back to the D and then going to the C sharp. Um, anyways, we have the interval um, of a tenth here, uh, which is a consonance. It does not need to resolve, but it does go down in this case. Um, so tenths, this is the ninth, this is the dissonance going to an octave in oblique motion. Um, then cantus firmus moves up, so we have the interval of a sixth here, sixth, then fifth, back to the sixth, and a seventh. So this is a passing tone, a stepwise approach, and the stepwise resolution in the same direction. Cantus firmus moves, creates then the interval of a six, which is a consonant. Uh, so we can leap away from the consonants to a third in this case, going in parallel thirds, uh, a step down, uh, then fourth, um, in this case an augmented fourth. Either way, it is a dissonance and it is a passing tone. So fourth, fifth, approach an oblique motion, sixth, uh, the six becomes a seventh, so this is a suspension which must resolve down to the third beat of the measure, um, and uh, it, it actually resolves a little earlier with a neighbor note figure, uh, and then in contrary motion the octave is being approached. So um, 
the uh, order of these species features is really up to you on where you put them. Um, you might just as well take one of your first species and uh, simply expand it and look at, okay, uh, where, where could I put um, a fourth species measure or a third species measure or a second species measure and then basically expand your first species counterpoint into a fifth species into making it a mixed species counterpoint. So uh, enjoy um, working with that. Uh, you can Google some other examples online. There are many online. Uh, so uh, have fun with that. Bye.